Hey guys, Glasgow TCG here. We actually have a Meros who Hi. may contribute to the video today. <laughs> yeah, may contribute. So, as anyone that follows Force of Will knows, Twilight Wanderer dropped yesterday when we record this, which is Friday the 11th of December. So, we... Technically, it was two days ago. Shut up, Meryl's. We don't <laughs> care about the time. <laughs> <laughs> I instantly regret having Meryl's on this camera now. I'm technically not on the camera. I'm not on the camera either. You really can't see I'm not on the camera. Oh, oh God. No, I can... shut <laughs> Right, so as you can see, this is Reflect. This is going to be my profile for Reflect, re reflect Refrain. Um... I've had this idea in my head for a, a week or so that I obviously didn't have the cards to build. So it's kind of a, like advanced over time and this is kind of where I've come to with the deck. With maybe a few changes once I play the deck a little bit more. So Reflect himself um, has a judgement of zero so flips for nothing which really really good when you think about it considering how busted it is yeah yep. so you can play any of reflex abilities once per turn no any about any of our three abilities but only once per turn so you can either draw from your draw and then put one back from your hand to the bottom <coughs> and Sorry. then gain a magic counter you can either give plus two two to a resonator and gain a magic counter, or <laughs> you can recover target resonator at the end of turn. Yeah, there was a third effect. I use it so often. With you always forget there's a third effect. I know. Um, so yeah, that's what Reflect does. She's used and makes decks very consistent because the draw and then the put back anything that you don't want. Fish for days. She then, he then flips into her, into her, which is Reflane, his twin sister. Cool. So this card, not, this card cannot battle, which is really, this card is which is really, 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 really good because it means it doesn't have attack and defense and cannot be killed by flames, thunder, etc., etc., etc. So it's zero on your opponent's turn. Put flip back onto your ruler side um, has three effects again remove two to rest refrain and bounce the target resonator or rest pay x and cancel target spell x being the cost or rest pay four, pay search four for and search for a card any card um, it's just amazing. It's fucking stupid, that's what it is. So, that was a ruler, and then I played 10 basic green. Because, why the hell not? Because, this is a fairly, uh, this is a very control heavy deck, and my, oh, this is the way I've built it at the moment. I do have plans to vaguely go to... Right? Um, an aggro build, an aggro build. But at the moment, it's very control. So, four priest, because ramp is really good. Ramp is brilliant. Uh, I play four familiar of holy wind to draw cards. And early game, it's a nice wee block. Because I don't, I don't care what happens to it. The draw is what I wanted. And Thomas then, John. last, well... Next, there's four familiar refrain. Familiar mm -hmm. of refrain. So every time um, a magic counter would be put onto your ruler or J ruler, Meros, don't interrupt me. You gain plus two counters. It's a five five as well, so it's not a, it's not exactly a bad body either. So. That was the control sort of aspect, and this is 
sort of the win con of the deck, which is four Prissia from the new set. Um, any boost she gets gets doubled. Any attack boost, sorry, she gets is doubled. So it comes into play a lot later on when you when you've when you when you've got control of the board through through refrain to bounce things, you can then attack, rest to bounce the blocker, and then swing in for game. So I play a lot of instants, which you'll find out later on. So to go with the Prissia, I play four of these, the bird. The only reason this is used is because the early, the two drop 8-8 eight, eight flyer is really strong and I sometimes need flyers to block because oh, my every, like we have a lot of meta at the moment where it's very SKL heavy so everyone has Arla and angels, angels and stuff like that so we're like we can't even need flying in almost every deck. Yeah. So next I play two of the two drop bird that I'm not going to attempt to say. First of first of two. And then one of the three drop bird. So the two drop bird is when you get an evolution. Ah, I forgot to speak about evolution counters. So... Whenever Prissia comes into field, she puts an evolution counter on a card that does not have an evolution counter. And this, uh, Z's, gains 3-3 three, three in flying as, as long as it has a evolution counter. The 2-drop bird, that I'm not going to attempt to say the name, gets, <laughs> when, when an evolution counter is put onto it, you shuffle target player's graveyard into deck, which is really handy against Rezard, or if, say, you've used Rapid Growths, or somehow somebody have killed any of the things you want to put back, you just shuffle your own graveyard back, and you're like, well, I can keep doing this over and over sort of just thing. Just start over again. Uh, lastly, the three-drop bird, which I play one of, which may get bumped up later on in lists, is <coughs> gains plus three three and target attack if there's an evolution counter, so it becomes an eleven uh, eleven a uh, k k with target attack, which is kind of nice. So they all they all sort of work together. So that's all the monsters. Well, resonators, sorry. And then we play four of the orb. This is just stupid. And should never have been made out of my way. <laughs> uh, so that uh, piece of shit. Again, it has three effects. So you can tap, produce a counter on your J slash ruler. Tap, recover your ruler if it has no attack or defense. Recover, a uh, rest, pay a green, and draw a card by removing two counters. So effectively the combo goes tap to stand your ruler and then bounce again. It it's very, very control heavy. Because our meta is not it's not as well developed as some of the Americans or anything like that. We have a very limited sort of supply of cards sort of thing. And I feel control is the best option for where we are. So next is on to the, the spells, etc. So play one uh, Sprint of the Beast Lady. So this is plus six, six to all J slash resonators I control. And that's pretty much it. It's used for Prissia, so it becomes Prissia is now a 15, 15. No, 15, 15 plus the double. So, 21-21. This is the Beast Queen's counterattack. So this is a new sort of duel of truth. Mainly used for Prissia. 
just to get rid of troublesome creatures because it gives a 4-4 four, four boost to Prissia and then on top of that it would double so 8-8 eight, eight. so your Prissia would be 15-15 15, 15, and then you would do live truth effectively so it's really handy if you ever need to get rid of certain things I play one beastly attack for almost the same reason as this but this is at instant speed and can be used only when attacking so it gives plus 6-6 six, six to a J slash resonator that's attacking I think yeah just resonator so that's the main use main reason lastly I play one drop of Yggdrasil oh because one of the birds searches them yeah the the three drop bird searches them which now makes it a lot nicer in my head so when it's attached to a j slash a resonator it cannot be targeted by spells or abilities so effectively making my prissia untargetable and it's really really hard to get around uh, next for the sort of pump is for rapid growth um, again gets doubled with Prissia so it's an 8-8 instead of a 4-4 so the main win con of the deck is to sit on Prissia effectively Prissia wins me most of my games apart from people scooping like Meros <coughs> <coughs> I was trying my hardest not to cough and laugh there but you I, guys I just, I just knew there was no win condition in sight in that game uh, so lastly onto the counter spells very control so obviously Zeke's personally in our again I talk about our locals where we don't need any more than three and I personally don't like more I find it very cloggy at more than three but that's that's fine and then lastly I play two keen scents so it's very it's utility, it stops spells on top of ref reflect, so you don't refrain, so you don't have to rely on this to cancel some spells. So anyway guys, that's the deck. Let me know any adjustments, improvements, anything. I'm, I'm definitely not certain on playing anything in the deck at the moment. It's very open to change. So... Thanks for watching, that's Glasgow TCG signing off.